So hello, good morning, everyone. Uh, let's see Nifty daily chart. So in front of you, this is Nifty daily chart, and as we saw yesterday, it took a breakout uh, from this nine nine six zero mark and tried to go higher. Uh, some amount of selling took place at the end and today again there was a gap up and a continuous selling is taking place. So let's first understand what happened yesterday. On the bigger uh, time frame we are pretty much clear there was a breakout which happened roughly around 9960 and 9970 mark and once the breakout took place our uh, straightaway target is roughly around 10,085. Right? So let's go and see what exactly happened yesterday. <clears throat> let's say we take 15 minute chart. Uh, yesterday it opened gap up, started to zoom higher and then it reversed a bit. The important point as we had already precised yesterday, uh, there will be reversal along this 9960 mark and that reversal needs to be bought. Right? So if you see over here, the on yesterday level it basically comes back and it retests in the yesterday's low so idea over here was it never broke yesterday low and then it zoomed higher right so any reversal point was a good buying opportunity yesterday and we were clear about our targets as well uh, basically we were looking for reversal along this 9970-9960 mark which was, which was prior highs which was being made uh, on the smaller time frame as well. Now let's see what is the importance of 9970 for yesterday. Why did it reverse from there exactly? So if we see on the five minute chart, uh, right in the morning it opened gap up, went higher, tried to breach its low which it was which it had formed in the morning five minutes. It did not breach the low. Second time it comes roughly after two hours of the market to the same point that is days low and there you can see a continuous surge of buying coming in right now this continuous surge of buying was pretty much clear that it basically acted like a reversal so anywhere once you were confirmed let's say on the third candle this is basically three white knights were formed and if you would be buyer, our straightaway stop loss would have been 9970, right? So 9970 and we would be buyer somewhere here, 9983 or 85. So 15 points stop loss, this trade would have taken, right? So if you wanted to take this trade, 15 rupees our stop loss, uh, we can be buyer in Nifty. And we were clear that it would uh, zoom higher, uh, provided that it breaches these levels of 10,000 or 9990. Now let's see at the end of the day there was a continuous selling which took place and it brought Nifty down to 10,000 and it closed around the 10,000 mark. What happens today it opens gap up and it is continuously bearish. So it opens gap up and then continuous selling can be seen over here. Uh, we need to be uh, very cautious as to what's happening along this level because the current juncture is very important for two reasons one it is now trading at days low and second the days low is basically higher than yesterday's high so yesterday's high for nifty was exactly around its days low so let's see now what exactly uh, takes place around these levels Right. So whether Nifty finds again a reversal along this point or it zooms down to around this 10,000 mark and we can find a reversal from these ends. So two points where reversal can come. Number one is the current juncture because it is days low and it is above exactly above the days high, right, previous days high. So we can find a reversal along here and second it can basically fill up the gap which is basically being formed in today's morning session. Once it fills up the gap, we can find reversal along this 10,000 mark. So let's keep an eye open for these two points around this 10,030 mark and around this 10,000 mark. And anywhere we find reversal, we would be buyer in Nifty 
keeping our targets around 10,085. Right, so that's uh, Nifty. Let's go and see what's happening on Bank Nifty front. So this is the daily chart for Bank Nifty. For Bank Nifty as well, uh, the concept remains the same. It basically crossed its very important uh, level, which was 24,500. After undergoing a breakout mode, it opened gap up, it crossed 24,500, tried to reach higher, and today again, it is opening gap up and coming back to its yesterday's close. Right, so same thing is happening to Bank Nifty as well. And uh, intermittent target, intermittent target for Bank Nifty would be roughly around twenty-five thousand, right? So let's go and see on the smaller time frame. Let's say fifteen minutes chart. What happened exactly yesterday? Uh, pretty much things were clear. It opened gap up, uh, eating away all the intermittent highs which were formed around this twenty-four four hundred mark. So it opened gap up and then it tried to sustain there and with a complete bull candle, it basically zoomed about 24,500. So you are pretty clear that yes, uh, ideally it can come down and it can find a reversal, but idea was clear only Bank Nifty would be uh, bullish or we can be bullish only if it crosses this mark of 24,500. Now, if we see uh, how can we decide whether we can be a buyer or no, if you see over here, 15 minutes candle for entire two hours, it was basically forming the same lower end, uh, which was exactly higher there where the selling has taken place or a complete Moribazu has been found. Right? So these kind of levels are very crucial and it maintained its day low for large amount of time and then suddenly it zooms higher, eating away all the highs or making fresh high for the day. Right, so we can be higher along those levels. Uh, these kind of reversals after consolidation can be bought into, and it's pretty much clear the target was 25,000 uh, range around. So what happens at the end of the day? It did find some amount of selling and close around 24,670. Now let's see what's happening in the morning. It opened gap up. But a continuous selling was basically seen and it did stop uh, to yesterday's high. But after that, again, a selling took place, brought it down to the same level of close yesterday. So it is a complete exhaustive gap uh, which resulted. But now, if you see over here on 15 minutes side, it is finding some amount of reversal. Right? So, complete red candle followed by these small intermittent buys can result into a quick reversal pattern and we can be buyer keeping today's low as our uh, stop loss. Let's see in 5 minutes chart if we can find something more fruitful. If you see over here it opens gap up, today it comes down, complete selling takes place almost towards its yesterday's high, right, tries to defend it but then ultimately gives it away. So continuous selling takes place after filling the gap as well and then it finds some support at yesterday's close right so it finds a support at yesterday's close so this has not happened in nifty yet it has not filled the entire gap but in bank nifty it has filled the gap and now it is trying to reverse right so we can be buyer in bank nifty uh, keeping today's uh, low as your stop loss so it is roughly around 24 to 660 and we can be buyer anywhere around 24,700, so around 40 ticks stop loss. But idea remains the same uh, on the upper side. We can find resistance at today's high. But if it breaks today's high, it is pretty much clear a bigger rally of 200, 300 points are on the cards and it can take you higher towards 25,000. Right. So let's keep an eye on. Uh, Bank Nifty seems to be a little bearish as compared to Nifty. but. Uh, Nifty seems to be strong enough to find some support uh, or kind of reversals which we are seeing around here. So Nifty it has not closed the gap. It is basically been finding some amount of reversal uh, prior to closing the gap. Uh, now Nifty is basically getting support other than the banking stocks which is pretty much clear from this analysis.